and let your life be built on Him. Let's be rooted. Hey guys, in welcome back to Rooted in Jesus. I just filmed this whole podcast episode, but the audio was not working correctly with my other mic. So please, Lord, let this mic work because I don't want to be filming 20 and 30 minutes over and over again. So hopefully this time it works. Lord, please let it work. This episode is going to be just me sharing what God laid on my heart to share with you guys for 2024. And I'm going to try to make it a quick episode and not too long. Before we get on into the podcast episode, I want to share a little update for this channel and for this podcast. So I guess without further ado, let's get on started. For this podcast, I am planning on releasing one episode a month on this podcast because that will just be easier for me. I always want to be genuine and I never want to force a episode or, you know, just try to say something for the sake of having content. Never want to be that way. I always want to be spirit led in my episodes and my guests. So be praying that God leads me to the right guests that he wants on this podcast for the year that is for the podcast also welcome to a new season of the podcast because I'm going to start this as season four I think we've done like three seasons so this will be season four of the podcast so I'm excited to see what this season holds we're also in a new year so happy new year everybody I hope everybody is having an awesome new year so far I guess without further ado let's just get on into the podcast and what God laid on my heart to share with you guys so i'm gonna read in uh, i have two of my bibles here i have my king james bible and my nlt so i'm gonna read in the king james version since it's the one that i got in my hand first and then we'll read more in the nlt this is very familiar for some of you guys if you guys have been here for a while you guys are probably familiar with this channel's theme verse it is starting in verse 6 of Colossians 2. It says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So that's how the King James Version puts it. Starting in verse 6 of Colossians 2, 6 through 7, it says, Now, and now, as ye have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow deep down into him, and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught, and you will overflow with thankfulness. So that is that verse. And then the next one that we're going to go to is from James. James 4, starting in verse 8, it says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So that is it in the King James Version, and we're going to read it in the NLT. Starting in verse 7, it says, So humble yourself before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. The little, I guess, title of this is, It is your walk, and it is your choice, you know, whether you want to be close to God or not. I can't make you be close to God. You know, there's nothing that I can do to make you follow the Lord. It has to be something that you choose on your own. And just like you may have heard the sayings, like you can't ride the coattails of your mom or your dad or your mama or your papa or whoever. You can't ride the coattails of their faith. It has to be your faith. It's your faith. It's your own faith. I can't do your walk for you and you can't do my spiritual walk for me it has to be a personal thing and just like this verse says we're called to humble ourselves before God to resist the devil and he will flee from us and 
We're called to draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to us. And um, one thing about this verse that really stands out to me is where it says, wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. I don't want my loyalty to be divided. I want to be in Christ. I want to be rooted in him. I don't want to follow my own will and way because I know that my own will and way leads to destruction. But where God leads, leads to life. Life abundantly. And I want that. And I want that for you. All the craziness that's going on in the world. We see the evil in the world. We see that God is coming soon through the signs of the time. And I can't make you want to walk with God. It's your walk with God. Just like it says in the King James Version, it says, the Colossians verse says, As ye have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So we are called to walk in Jesus, live in him, and be rooted in him. And I just want you to know that today is the day of salvation, and we all have a choice to make daily, whether we want to follow God or follow the ways of this world. I want for all people, not the path of destruction, not the sin that this world has to offer, but I want you to know who Jesus is, know his love, know his peace know his comfort, know him for yourself. And it's your walk, not mine. I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. It is you that has to choose that. So I just wanted to share this with you guys to choose today whom you will serve. Will you serve the Lord or will you serve this world, the enemy? It's your choice to be as close to God as you want to be. Like this verse says, come close to God and he will come close to you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. It is our choice to walk with him. And two, I just want you guys to rid yourself of the comparison of the internet. I know it is easy to see these perfect Christian girls online and their quiet time routines and how they portray themselves. I just want you guys to know there's no one righteous, no, not one. Um, we are all, our righteousness is as filthy rags. It is Jesus. It is Jesus who cleanses us. It is Jesus who makes us righteous. It is Jesus. It is not us. And we're called to humble ourselves. We're not called to put ourselves on pedestals. We're called to glorify Jesus because he's the only one worthy of the glory and of that praise. No man is worthy of that praise only Jesus and I want you guys to know this channel right here it is not my channel it is God's channel and it is not rooted in me it's not rooted in Sheridan it is rooted in Jesus because that is who I want to be rooted in I don't want to be rooted in myself this world will tell us it's all about self it's all about doing what you want to do and following your dreams and this that and the other but no it's all about Jesus it's all about him and I want to be rooted in him I, every day of my life I want to read his word and get this word in my heart get this word in my mind and meditate on it and not just know it but believe it and live it out and it's hard to walk this walk it's not easy we're going to stumble we're going to fall but with Christ the word says a righteous man falls seven times but he gets back up so we're called to just do our best to live in him to live rooted in him and just like Jesus when he was tempted by the devil if we're rooted in his word and we know what his word says when the enemy comes just like this says resist the devil and he will flee from us how do we do that in action Jesus modeled it Jesus modeled it when he was in the wilderness and the devil came and tempted him but Jesus combated what the enemy said with the word of God because he knew what the word of God said 
And if we know what the word of God says, the enemy can come and try to tempt us, but we can stand on the word of God. And that is such a beautiful thing. And that's how I want to live my life. I want to live my life in glory and honor of him. I want to live my life submitted to him. I want to humble myself before him. I want to clean and purify clean my hands of the sin of this world and purify my heart with what Christ has for me. I don't want to be loyal to this world, but I want to be loyal to Jesus. And I want to be overflowing with thanksgiving, praising God for what he's done for me in my life. And I just want you guys to know Jesus for yourself and to know that it's your choice. It's your walk. Jesus wants you to come to him. He has open arms for anybody who wants to come to him. He wants us to live in him and live in that newness of life that he has for us. What this world has to offer is nothing compared to what Christ has to offer you. And I just pray that somebody sees their need for Jesus. And hopefully these verses will get into not just hear it but hopefully it'll get into your heart and speak something to you because I can't change you I can't save anybody only Jesus can and Jesus just put this on my heart share the theme verse of this channel and share that other verse about drawing nigh to God because it is our choice to draw nigh to God and I'm just going to pray for us that we would draw nigh to him that we would draw nigh to Jesus this year and that we would become those new creation in Christ that we are when we have Jesus in our lives and I just pray that you guys would pray for me that I would be closer to God this year and that I would do what he would have me to do I need him daily I'm unworthy and I know that I know how much God has done for me and what he's brought me from and I'm just thankful to who Jesus is to me and I want to love him deeper and be more devoted and all of that to him so I'm just going to pray for us and in this podcast but I hope that sharing those verses touched your heart and this wasn't me speaking but the Lord was just giving me the words to say because that's how he does I don't want any credit or glory or anything for any of this this is his channel and this is all for him it's not for me it is for Jesus so let's pray dear heavenly father I just thank you for this uh day i thank you for your love your grace and your mercy lord jesus you know that i am nothing without you and you know that my righteousness is as filthy rags i can't do anything to make anybody want to believe in you it is you it is you that saves people i can't do anything to change people's minds or anything like that Um, Lord, I just pray that you would work on the hearts of the people listening to this podcast. Help us to have a desire to be more devoted to you this year, to serve you, to love you, to grow in remembering what your word says so that way when the enemy tries to come and attack us that we can be rooted in you and say, no, I'm standing on the word of God. I'm standing on what God says, not what the enemy says, not what this world says. Help us to be loyal to you, not this world. Help us to be rooted in you. Help us to draw nigh to you. And that when we draw nigh to you, you will draw closer to us, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I just pray that you would lead, guide, and direct us where you want us to go. Lord Jesus, I don't know what the other person that's listening to this is facing, but you do. I pray that you would be in their situations in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And I just thank you for saving us from this world and sin and all of the stuff that is in our past. I thank you that you've made us new creations in Christ. And I just pray that you'd help us walk closer to you. Just like the song says, just a closer walk with thee. I pray that we would have a closer walk with you, Lord Jesus, in 2024. And I just pray for the season of the podcast. I pray that you would have your way in it, send guests, and help me just to be obedient to you and to do what you've called and purposed me to do. And I just pray that this would be used for your kingdom and your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Well, amen, guys. I hope that bless you. And I'll probably try to do like one podcast a month. 
and I'm going to be uploading more content on the channel such as little scripture songs and hopefully I'll get back into the Rooted in Worship episodes and do more covers and stuff like that and probably like more Bible related videos. I have a lot of ideas that I want to share with you guys so Hopefully, you guys will bear with me and stick with me, even though I'm just going to be posting probably like one podcast a month. That's just what I feel led to do right now. I guess that is it. I love you guys, and Jesus loves you, and always stay rooted in Him. I love you guys. Bye.